Hey, buddy, watch this. So, guys, we're playing Battlegrounds, new game mode for Hearthstone. If you haven't seen, it is a uh, auto battler, much in the vein of like auto chess or TFT, but in Hearthstone. I've already played this a couple times. I have uh, been out to Blizzard a handful of times. I feel like I'm gonna want to keep moving, moving you guys closer. This setup's a little wonky. There we go. That's better. So here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna pick a hero. They each have different hero powers. Shutterwalks is pretty cool. Your next battle cry this turn triggers twice. Infinite Toki, Refresh Bob's Tavern. The last minion will be from a higher tavern tier. All these words probably mean nothing to you if you haven't seen this before, but don't fret, we're gonna talk about it. Maleficent Mana Storm, Mechs and Bob's Tavern has plus one, plus one. We'll go with this one because it's pretty simple to understand. So, this is a new game mode in Hearthstone. Pretty jealous, thanks Big Sip. Hey Mustachio Green, no Sam, thanks for the subs guys. I might be a little, uh, a little off when it comes to subs and stuff today, guys. Um, it's hard to keep track, and I don't have all the normal alerts and stuff up. So do forgive me if um, hey, if I mess something up. Ready to get started? Will if I miss something. So here's the deal: we're going to be um, buying a card, and it's going to cost uh, always going to cost three gold. We started with three gold this round, and this is going to be our side of the board. This is the stuff we buy from Tob's tab. Bob's Tavern up here along the top. And uh, forgive me, I'm still trying to get some notifications and stuff organized here. Forgot to send out some of my notifications. So essentially we're playing against eight other people. You can see over here on the left, right, we got different patrons of all sorts. Uh, this is who we're fighting next. I don't know who Ninja Patron is in this particular world. It's not Trump, I can confirm. <laughs> but beyond that, I don't know. And uh, so battles are just going to auto-resolve. Minions are going to attack other minions automatically. You might have already seen other streamers playing this, of course. So here we win. We deal two damage to our opponent. They started at 40 health, as do we. And uh, we start a new round. Now we have four gold to spend, right? Previously we had three. It goes up all the way up to 10. But you can also do some things like reroll for additional minions to purchase. All minions always cost three gold. This is not like other uh, auto battler games where minions have varying prices. So these are all three gold. Every minion's always going to be three gold. We can freeze the board if we want to buy more minions later of these varieties. Uh, alternatively, we can level up our tavern, which means we'll start seeing higher tier minions in the tavern. Pyro, I know, right? Dawn of the Dragons is so close to Descent of Dragons, dude. I almost guessed the expansion name nine months ago. That's pretty crazy. Um, goofy funny, what is it? <laughs> That's a great picture, dude. Oh my goodness, whoever's Yogg-Saron is a beefy board already. Goodness. But we're upgrading our taverns. That's okay. We're going to get higher tiered... Um, higher tiered minions. So ranking up, yeah, ranking up makes it possible to find higher tiered minions. So right now we're tavern tier two, which means a two star minion will start to appear in our tavern. And uh, as you can see right now, we have sort of a beast package going here. So we're gonna go ahead and get some beasts to support it. We can't quite buy the kindly grandmother yet, but I think we might just go ahead and freeze our, freeze our board here to buy this on a future round. So, this looks familiar. Yeah, right? Uh, Civil Pain, thanks for the highlighted message, man. Pyro, thanks 100 bits, dude. Much love. Have you seen the Paladin Dragon? I haven't. Are there extra new cards revealed? Uh, unfortunately, I cannot, I cannot get you guys cards on stream. There's some technical limitations. So we're going to have to focus on Battlegrounds for the most part. I'll try to pull up some cards off screen to talk about as well. Um, on this second screen, but for now we're gonna have to concentrate a little bit on Battlegrounds action. So right now we can go ahead and just buy a couple units here. Um, gold is always lost at the end of the round anyway, so saving gold doesn't really make a lot of sense. I could try to reroll to find some additional stuff instead, but uh, yeah, we, no, let's just buy a unit for now. Buying a unit for now is fine. This is actually going to be nice, just to increase our power level at the moment. So, man, I want to give you guys so many tips because I've already played this for about 10 hours. I can answer pretty much any question you have. BlizzCon's super fun, dude. So many people to hang out with, so many people to talk to. Now we're getting to stream too, which is always fun. So super, super cool. Uh, Grats for Moody's, man. That sounds sweet. i got to write a tweet here, guys, to get my tweet out. Totally forgot to tweet. Okay. Live right now at BlizzCon with the new game mode. 
Man, it's hard to write out links by hand every time. Okay, are we winning this round? I'm hardly hardly focusing here. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to win this round. We do have some potential nice trades. So minions attack uh, randomly, by the way, if you haven't caught up on that yet. Uh, we're not going to lose too much health here, actually. Ninja Patron has taken some big hits already. We're going to take a hit for five here, which isn't great. But sorry, guys. I'm still a little distracted getting things rolling here today. I know this isn't going to be great for a video later, but that's life at the moment. So we finally get offered some mech synergies. Uh, in this case, I think we're going to go ahead and Tavern Tier up, though, uh, just to get that rolling for next turn. This does get cheaper every turn. So you start at it's four right now. Next turn, if I waited, it would be three on an eight gold break point, which could be pretty sweet. But for now, we can still afford to just buy something. And I guess we'll just buy the micro machine. This does get stronger over time, which is pretty nice. No need to freeze anything here. So this will gain plus one attack at the start of every turn, and every turn continues going for the course of the game. So it gets really, really big late in the game. Just has low health, right? Uh, no, Sam, thanks for the link, man. I was, trying to, I was trying to pull that up. That's always super handy. Uh, oh, there are a ton of new cards. Deathling, Malagos. Oh, my God. I got another review to do tonight. Oh, boy. Sick. I didn't even get I didn't even get uh, the Warlock Alicron in my last review. Ooh, good win against Trump. That's Trump going down. I love it. Yes, that was Trump, guys. We know that's Trump now. Keep that in mind. What was that, patron? That was, uh, that was I don't know, Bartender Bob, but I don't know which patron's that. Star patron is Trump, guys. Ooh, more mechs energy. This is unbelievable. Let's just load up on mechs, guys. I believe, man. I believe we can reroll and see if we want to hold. Uh, yeah, actually, we'll hold this indeed. That's a sick board of mechs. Uh, and in fact, we can sell some of this garbage beast stuff now. And uh, maybe we'll just go ahead and buy this mech. Then we don't have to freeze anymore. We want to get these into play. Okay, looking good. We want to freeze the Psychotron? I don't think so. I think we're, well, we also have a mech root too. Now here's the deal, guys. If you get three of the same kind of unit, they're going to upgrade into a golden version. And the golden version is going to double its stats and in some cases also its effect which is actually pretty insane sometimes late in the game. You didn't look at the new dragon cards. I haven't yet. No, man, I haven't. I've been busy doing this. Um, I, I've actually already seen all these, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a while. Oh, my God. Sunny Patron is crazy with these Furlocks right now. Oh, my God. The Divine Shield coming in clutch, but this crowd favorite's already huge. So it looks like we're going to only take two minion hits here, which is nice. This is guaranteed to kill at least one thing. This is a three-cost unit, which means it's going to deal three damage. This is a two-cost unit, which means it's going to deal two damage. And then that is a level three hero, which means it's going to deal an additional three damage. That's how you get to the calculation of eight, in case you're wondering. So here we go. Let's go ahead and buy this. And uh, again, I think we can sell some of our beasts cards. These just don't have that much power level for us at the moment. Um, and then we're going to reroll a little bit too. Ooh, screw jank clunker. Zubot right now is not it, even though it's a mech. But the clanker or the clunker is pretty good. We can of course buff some of our mechs here. And uh, since we're running out of space, let's go ahead and drop this. Grab the mecharu. It's a death rattle. Positioning here is um, important. It does matter, but maybe not that much. Oh my God, we got to freeze that pilot of shredder because that'll give us a triple or a golden pilot of shredder to double the stats. Yeah, guys, I can't talk about all these cards, but that Deathwing looks insane. The Malagos looks crazy. Um, I don't even know how the Malagos card works. How does that work? Did they explain how that works? Can somebody tell me how the Malagos card works? You can't think, Bartender Bob, but there are emotes that your opponent will see and everybody else sees as well. Okay, so we're we're dominating whoever this Yaxaran is. I don't. They were in second place, but we're crushing them right now. We're down here in uh, in six, but we just moved to third on that one round. Wow, and we've uh, we've certainly gained a lot of momentum. Did I not freeze my board? Am I crazy right now? Didn't we freeze the board? I didn't freeze the board. Apparently, says to Parky. Oh, whoopsie! That's a that's a major whoopsie. I talked about freezing the board, but we didn't freeze the board. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, we can sell this screw this uh, screw clank guy and, and buy more dudes here as well. Uh, we can also just tavern tier up. We're not going to get to utilize that now, but it's going to come in handy later. Um, another kaboom bot. We could have had two kaboom bots almost. Uh, let's roll again because we're really. Oh my goodness. 
That's a lot of mechs. Okay, and Magnetic is particularly powerful in this game mode because you just get to stack. Go big, go, go tall. Positionally here, I mean, taunts do work. Minions will attack taunts before they'll attack anything else. They showed examples of Malagos' spells. Okay, sweet. Ooh, they just get bigger. The numbers just get bigger. Oh, I think this only applies to classic and basic cards, if I remember right, right? I think that's what I heard. <laughs> you know, Reed has been playing a while when he can narrate a brand new game. Yes, yeah. So I've played this twice, guys. Um, I got to go out to Blizzard at the beginning of September to play test this. There was a group of us who went out. It was super cool. I felt incredibly lucky to be remotely close to invited, right? Like, the odds of getting invited to that work were so low, but I, I was lucky enough to get invited, and then I went back again in October and um, recorded some stuff that you might see later. You so might see some content related to my uh, related to my trip. Man, these screwed these these um, these guys are just a little bit sticky at the moment. I think I'm actually going to pass on them, and we're just going to start annoyal moduling stuff. You need the board space to play the annoyal module, so I'm going to actually reroll and try to find either another. Uh, I want to get some triples. I need to find a piloted shredder, or now a harvest golem, or a micro machine. This is none of those things, but an Iron Sensei is pretty cool. This is just going to continually buff our mechs turn after turn. It's not something you really want in combat later, but um, nonetheless, if we can leave it out there for a few rounds and then replace it, we'll be pretty happy. And again, unlike other auto battlers, guys, you can't save gold, so always spend all your gold. What do you think of the new mode? Um, I think it's pretty sweet, man. I've had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, I'm, I'm like 11, 12 hours in. So, I don't know. It's... Uh, it's different. It's, uh, by the way, I'm probably not on camera half the time, am I? I keep leaning over to Twitch chat. Our side quests play belong side quests. That was my understanding when I learned about side quests, yeah. And that was my review basis as well, so I hope that's true. Oh my god, that is a big boy. Those murlocs. Now, the thing about these murlocs is, right, they have very high attacks, but they're not staying alive to trades, so they're just not doing as much work as they might otherwise do, right? They're killing stuff, but my sticky death battles here are sort of outlasting the Murloc pressure. So we've now moved back into third again. Uh, Cobalt Guardian is intriguing, but I don't think he's worth three gold at this point. Um, I wanted to roll for better stuff. Ooh, the Junk Bot can get so good. Oh, new card, by the way, Soul Juggler. This is for a Demon Synergy build, which we don't currently have. Oh, Junk Bot can get really good. I'm going to go ahead and grab this as an investment for now, but I'm really still looking for a golden. There it is. Sweet. Okay. So now we get to play this increased Harvest Golem, and when you play a golden card, you also get the chance to discover another card of a higher Tavern tier. So now I get this crazy, you know, five-cost thing, which it's just really not, not actually that good of an option. I took the Primal Finlook out here because you can sell it and the minion that you battle cry off of it, so it does technically have uh, some kind of return on your investment almost. An Annoyo module again is pretty good, actually. That might be worth a freeze because Divine Shields in this mode are so powerful because they mean that uh, you take a trade with immunity, right? You don't die on your trade, so that's pretty sweet. What's your costume for the cosplay contest? I'm going as Regis. Just going as Regis. <laughs> they said it was a guaranteed win. All right, let's see how this goes. We've got another mech here. Um, that is a gigantic dude. I don't know if we can beat this. This might single-handedly kill us. I have this 10-7, I guess, but if it takes the wrong trade, if it hits the 12-4 instead, okay, good. Oh, okay, okay. No, we're not going to get it. We guaranteed lose, but we don't die necessarily, right? Uh, the tavern tier of our opponent is apparently four, and this is a five, so we took nine damage, so. All uh, right, we're barely hanging in there. We're barely hanging in there, chat. I may need to replace this Iron Sensei at this point. Um, Metal Tooth Leaper is a lot of additional damage, but it doesn't really increase my survivability. But I think since we're going to cycle anyway, we might as well just cycle this down and kind of buff everything and then go from there. And then we can use the space to annoy module our other micro machine. Then we're going to play this Primal Fin Lookout just to sell and cycle it, right? And uh, 
I don't control another Murlocs. That's not gonna work, guys. That didn't uh, that didn't pan out. <laughs> that's, not the, that's not the card text, folks. All right, let's buy this junk bot. These Cobalt Guardians, I think, are a little bit weaker anyway, but particularly because we already have a junk bot, right? I think this junk bot just gains a lot of power level. No mechs there, so no need to freeze. Now we put this at the far right because it's going to attack last, which means by the time all these other mechs have had a chance to die, this may get buffed a ton, right? Because I have, you know, theoretically six plus mechs that can die before this. Now, unfortunately, because... Um, a lot of these have divine shields at this point. I, the junk bot's actually not that light. It might die randomly beforehand, but with these having taunt, it, it should be the case that at least maybe like three minions will die before the junk bot. Now we're at a place in the game right now where if we lose a round, there's a pretty good chance that we will die. And Trump has moved into first. I trash talked him, but now, now it looks like Trump's in first, guys. That's what I get for trash talking, eh? <laughs> Uh, the fact that they added a new mode is huge. Yeah, totally huge. It's actually insane, yeah. So, Andrea, thanks again for the sub. Big Sip, thanks for the sub. Mustache your game. I might be missing some subs, guys. How long before Deck Tracker's catch up to Battle Crowns? Funny you say that. I talked to the guys at HS Replay today. They're already making plans to support this game mode. They didn't know about it until today, but they're already cooking up schemes. So, hopefully, it doesn't take too long at all, and we're going to demolish this round. Whoever this is is super dead because I have a full ward, and uh, they're going to get crushed. <laughs> so, it looks like we might get a locked up. Uh, top four here, which is really the goal in any sort of auto battler. You want to get top four, because that's kind of the positive MMR range where things get really exciting. So Psychotron actually makes sense for us, because we might have a might have a triple here soon. Um, let's go ahead and level up. Oh, man, we've been offered so many Cobalt Guardians, but I never bought one, so it's going to be hard to... Um, Anoyotron's intriguing. Replicating Menace is also really intriguing with our Junk Bot, because we can magnetize it and give ourselves additional mechs. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. We don't have space at the moment, so that's a bit of a pickle. we got to figure out how to make some board space. Like, we're going to have to sell something. That's a micro machine. So let's go ahead and sell one of these piloted treaders since we never got offered a third. Um, let's go for the micro machine upgrade here. Um, oh, I don't have enough gold, actually. I'm going to have to sell three things. I actually, let's just, uh, let's just freeze for now. I think our board is honestly capable. I can't play this right because the board is too full. We could sell these Psychotrons. Let's wait till next round. We're going to kind of bank on the fact that we can survive this round, which is, by the way, a pretty risky maneuver because yeah, that's not guaranteed, right? <laughs> like it's, it's the final three. So if we can win this round, I think we're going to have a pretty dominant final board. What is this? This is a new game mode. It's called Battlegrounds. Uh, I'm talking a lot here, so please ask questions, guys, if you have them. It's a little bit tough to kind of balance everything. but This game mode will open on the 5th if you have... Uh, Pre-ordered the expansion. Otherwise, I think it's like the, I don't know, some other date. Oh, my goodness. Trump's Beast deck right now is ridiculous. I'm surprised Goldrin's not farther to the left because this is something you want to die as soon as possible. It does have Taunt. Oh, I think he wanted some Death Rattles to activate first, and then he wanted his Goldrin to go off. Look at this freaking scavenging hyena, guys. This is never, ever going to die. Well, I mean, depends on these minions a little bit maybe, but... Oh my god, am I actually gonna, I'm, oh my god, we're too, no, we killed it, oh, the, the upgraded 4-2, we tied, we tied, Trump, <laughs> what, my upgraded, my upgraded uh, Harvest Golem took the tie, oh my god, so we're gonna tavern up here because we're gonna buy this upgrade, and remember when we replay this, we get to discover a minion, um, of a higher tier, so this gives me a max tier unit to discover, and Faux Reaper and Sneed's Old Shredder. The cool thing about Sneed's in this mode is there's only a handful of legendaries and they're all really, really good. So I think I might take the Sneed's here. Um, let's reload, let's reload, let's reload one more time. A lot of piloted Sky Golems. I have this board full of stuff that I can't really decide how I want to utilize. I really would love to get a Replicating Menace down, but I don't know if it's better than a Piloted Shredder. I guess the thing is I can kind of play both, though. So I think it is better. Now, we want this to die at the time when other minions have already died, and the reason for that is because if we don't have board space otherwise. You have to be very mindful of board space in this, uh, in this game mode. Because if, if the if the replicating menace minion dies first, there won't be anywhere for the one ones to go. I don't really know if I made my board weaker just now or, or stronger. 
I mean, this guy's ridiculous, but <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Uh, we are top three either way, though, which is really the goal. That's pretty nice. I have seen the new cards have been revealed. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at them right now. For the record, I've seen the entire exchange. <laughs> but uh, I haven't seen some of them in a while, so um, I have so many cards to review, guys. It's going to be fun tonight and tomorrow to do that. So let's see here. We're going against Ninja Patron. We haven't played this person yet, but they are playing another mech deck. If we can buff these guys sufficiently, we're going to have a sick, uh, a pretty sick board here. I don't know if it's going to be enough to kill a 429, but it might be, honestly. And these guys being here are so good because each of these could potentially buff. Yes, the buffs are incoming big time. Let's go. The junk bots are doing work, man. Look at these minions. I love it, dude. 1822. Let's go. I think I think that's guaranteed at this point. Yeah, I think we're just. I don't think we can lose. This doesn't do enough damage, right? So, it's just a clean, clean kill. This is probably enough to knock them out too. Uh, these are yeah, definitely. We've got uh, eight plus five, so 13 exactly. Woo! Let's go. Comes down to me and Trump. <laughs> it's me and Trump. It's kind of not fair because Trump and I have already played this, so it uh, it definitely gives us a little bit of a benefit. So don't hold it against any of the other players. Like. We've had our, our chance here to to do this before. So let's think about what we're looking for, right? We're looking for a Psychotron upgrade, um, a Junk Bot upgrade. Kind of running out of gold already here. So hopefully we find something soon. This doesn't upgrade anymore once it's fully upgraded. Oh my god, look at all those buffs. Oh boy, are we going to cycle through and find nothing this round? This is kind of my last chance. Oh my god, we hit the Psychotron. Sweet. That's such good news, because now I get to discover another minion of a super high tier. Um, Zap Slywick is pretty intriguing. It always attacks a low, minion with lowest attack, which means it can snipe a lot of stuff, even through taunt. But I don't know if it's better than, say, a piloted shredder. I, I think it actually is. I'm pretty sure it's better than a piloted shredder. In case he's running something sneaky, like a Cadgar or something, right? You can just snipe the Cadgar and kill it immediately. And uh, then you can sometimes just delete their game plan or strategy, which is pretty nice. The new Nas Dormu is insane. Let's take a look at the new Nas Dormu. Why don't I see the new Nas on this page? I see Waxadred. I don't see a new Nas Dormu. Where's Nas? Zap is so good, yes. Zap's insane. Zap's insane. Oh, that's a good opener, but thankfully we have... Oh, my x off that's so good! We did snipe his uh, thing so it doesn't get as many minions here, which is nice. It's not going to get, like, a full board anymore. We also sniped that. That's good news. Um, this my x is going to cause some problems, guys, maybe. It's going to kill pretty much anything at once. Uh, those were some good trades off of our mini bot. I don't think we've got enough mechs dying, though. And this is going to kill something, so I think we're dead here. Looks like we're just dead. God, the beasts, dude. The beasts. I got a tip to play beasts. I got a tip to play beasts. Somebody told me beasts were OP. I see it. <laughs> so I'm not good enough. Okay. All right. Trump's throwing shade, guys. I'm done. I can't play anymore. Trump's, uh, Trump's mean to me. Uh, but second place, hey, I'll take it, man. That's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Let's go. Right above the ice and snow, high in the sky where the cold wind blows, wings feet.